So, Randy, just quick again for the for our people that are watching that are privates working on a commercial. Yeah. Very simple, just a little recommendation from you for them when they're getting ready. Absolutely. I mean, there was no doubt that uh, Gary was uh, well prepared for uh, today's check ride. And the biggest difference between the, the private and the commercial, let's talk first about the, the ground portion, is that when I ask an applicant for described settling with power as a private applicant, you can be pretty vague and give me some pretty basic answers. When I'm asking that same question to a commercial applicant, we're looking for more in-depth answers, a true understanding of settling with power. And Gary demonstrated that today for us. Awesome. All right, let's go home. All right, I'm there. Comments down below. See you later. So there you go from an applicant and an examiner on a commercial check ride. And you hear this discussion a lot, and I've heard it over and over the, over the years, and I've always said the commercial pilot check ride is a private pilot check ride on steroids. And a lot of people will agree with that. And then some people will argue and say, oh, no, no, it's, it's, not, it's not the same. In my opinion, as you just heard from the examiner, it's really about knowing everything to a higher standard, right? You're going to go back, and we, and we mentioned this in the video, in the, one of the last videos. But just understand, you're going to get through the check ride by knowing everything that you knew at the private pilot level, knowing it to a higher extent, or I'm trying to think of the right words, and your flying is going to have to be to a higher standard. Other than maybe an auto or other than that, there's very few things that are really going to be different. And most people, when they get done, will say, Wow, that really wasn't much different than the commercial or than the private. So I want to say one more time, I highly recommend going back through the private material. I know it's a lot of training, it's a lot of videos, but you want to show up the day of the check ride and it's got to be clean, it's got to be sharp, it's got to be precise. And the same thing with your flying. You're going out there and doing all those same maneuvers with exception of one, maybe one or two and you're doing the same stuff and you are just flying at a higher standard and your knowledge has got to be a higher standard. So keep that in mind as you're going through the training. I don't know if I mentioned the Hogs Wall of Fame yet. If, if I didn't mention that in the first two videos, move the camera back just a little bit so you could see it. Eight years we've been online, you're in the right place, right? So go through the training step by step Go through the videos as many times as you need to. We learn through repetition. That's how we learn, is by going over and over and over things again. I felt my first private pilot check ride, and that's very, very painful. So going into that commercial check ride, rock solid cemented knowledge and some rock solid flying, and you'll be just fine. All right, leave your comments down below. We'll see you in the next video.